What's up guys, KSWTV here, back again with a brand new video and a brand new roundup of all the latest transfer news that has happened at Manchester City. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, one of my favourite young prospects that come out of our academy and our recruitment was Gavin Bazunu, a goalkeeper from Ireland who went on loan to Rochdale, I believe, then to Portsmouth. He's also an international at the age of 19 and he saved uh, one of Cristiano Ronaldo's penalties in a crucial a draw for them against Portugal. He's done so many big moments like that. He's had a brilliant season at Portsmouth. He's been named their player of the season. And he was someone that I really did not want the club to sell. But it looks like now that Southampton have picked him up for £12 million plus £5 million in add-ons that could be accumulated, leaving the price around £17 million. Pounds. But Manchester City has inserted a 20% sell-on clause into that deal a buyback clause of 30 to 40 million pounds so if all goes well and the development of Southampton does go as planned Southampton have a great record of developing young talent um, then we can buy them back at 30 to 40 million the price is not 100 percent so it's been between that range it has been disclosed but I think he wanted to leave because he knew that he wasn't going to get much game time we know we got Zach Stefan as the backup and I think that if we're going for our third Premier League title, if we're going for a Champions League this year, big moments are going to be needed from our goalkeepers, and Gavin Bazunu isn't going to be that backup goalkeeper or challenging Edison for that spot, even though Edison has had a bit of a lacklustre season last year. But he wants to get first-team football, and that's what Southampton have promised him. He will get that number one jersey. So good luck to Gavin Bazunu on your further development, and best of luck at your career at Southampton. Another goalkeeper for Manchester City, we have great young goalkeepers at the club. James Trafford, a 20-year-old goalkeeper. He just went on loan last season at Bolton, had a great spell. Um, he was trying to get them into those playoff promotion spots. Unfortunately, he couldn't do that. But in the time he had there, I think he spent six months there. He joined halfway through the season, and they all love him. They, they think he's a very good young goalkeeper, and he's decided to extend that loan to Bolton for another season so hopefully he can get them promoted uh, that would be the goal obviously for him and the team so best of luck uh, to James Trafford and I hope you have a good successful season at Bolton and um, really try and show the uh, team here at Man City why you deserve to be challenging for that second spot or even third string goalkeeper. Before we get into the juicy stuff make sure you hit that like and subscribe button turn the bell notification on thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined the last 30 days uh, also if you want to join uh, the Facebook group Man City Global Fan Group I'll put it up here um, that's just for all transfer news on the go for Facebook uh, I keep it up to date as much as possible with all the sources and everything so if you want transfer news uh, just anything Man City related make sure you join Man City Global Fan Group Let's get into the rest. Now, a Brazilian wonder kid that we have signed, Savinho. We went on a little rampage and bought a couple of Brazilian wonder kids, Kaiki, Savinho, Matinho. Savinho is going to go on loan to PSV for this season, the for the whole season, not just the short-term deal. Uh, Man City and Athletic Mineiro came to an agreement, and we've got the player, but we've sent him straight out to the Eredivisie to PSV. Eredivisie is a great league for him to develop and learn at top level football best luck to uh Sabino and hope he has a successful season just like our other loanees i mentioned before now to the first team scott carson our <laughs> beloved scott carson i can't believe he signed another contract but he has man city have offered him a one-year extension uh tiki said that he really loves the professionalism of uh scott and he's really good friends of edison we've seen that in the uh documentaries on uh, men's tv he's really good in the dressing room he's got great experience and he's the only player in manchester city to win a champions league trophy so he comes with a lot of uh, comedy and personality but he also comes with a lot of experience and he's really helping edison as a friend and on a sporting level professional level so congratulations scott carson <laughs> honestly i think he'll get another deal until he's like 45 he's such a cool character and uh, yeah, it's great to have him in the team. Well done, Scott Carson. Now, we were heavily, heavily linked, and we still are heavily linked with Mark Kukurea from Brighton and Hove Albion. 
but there has been a little bit of a, a, a rocky bit in this uh, road. Mark Cucurella really wants to come to Man City. He's agreed with Man City to come personal terms, but it's looking like Brighton now want to drive that price up because they know that, obviously, we've got a lot of money and uh, they don't really want to lose him either. So they've driven his price up another 10, 20 million pounds. Originally, we were looking at a figure ballpark around 30, 35 million pounds. It looks like we're not going to get him for less than 50. It could rise to 60. The flat out fee of 50 with add ons to rise to 60, which I think is really, really unfair and really disturbing considering he's only had one good season and he's only played one season in the Premier League. We know he can be a way better player when he comes to Man City and we probably will get our money's worth, but is it worth spending 60 million pounds on a backup fullback? I don't think so. Hopefully this deal can be resolved. Um, he is our priority left back and I think our priority signing now after Erling Haaland as well with uh, Calvin Phillips, which we'll get onto after this. But I think that we shouldn't pay any more than 30, 35 million pounds at most. That 35 million pounds, I'm thinking we've add on from a, another fee. So I think that we still will go in for Mark Cucurella. Um, I'm very certain Pep wants this player, and I think he's number one priority, as I said before. So hopefully more things come out towards this transfer in the next couple of days. Uh, we want to get this guy as soon as possible. I know that's for certain. Pep wants to get all these transfers out the way for the first team. So I guess we're going to have to wait to see. Now to an official bid now. Calvin Phillips, a player that's been on our radar probably for the last 12 months now, being known um, by the club expressing interest. And it's now getting into those little dire moments. I think that this signing, if it goes through, is going to happen within the next few days. It seems Man City have verbally informed Leeds that they are going to put in a bid around the 50 to 55 million pounds mark. And uh, they've been very, very happy with this Leeds. It looks like they're going to accept this if it does uh, get proposed to them. Calvin Phillips, on his side, he's, he's already go. He wants to go to Manchester City. He had interest from Manchester United. He doesn't want to do that because he leads through and through. He's not going to enter that rivalry and, you know, tarnish his reputation and legacy. It leads with the fans. Club, he wants to come to Manchester City. He knows he's going to be second string to Rodri and he's going to have to work his ass off to get on his level because he was my player of the season last year. Rodri was, Rodri, sorry, was unbelievable. So I digress from that. They have indicated they are going to put a bid in around the 50 million if they're just going to pay it out straight cash but if they want to put in add-ons and stuff they might give a 45 million pound bid with 10 million in add-ons that will rise it up 55 million pounds and Leeds are happy with that so it looks like not a here we go at the moment as Fabrizio Romano says but it looks like some very good track for Calvin Phillips to be our next signing or our third signing after Mark Kukure as I discussed before. And now in very, very, very recent news, I'm talking within this recording at the time of this happening, within the last two, three hours, it seems like Arsenal have put a bid in Gabriel Jesus, but it is a disrespectful bid of £30 million, has been totally rejected by Man City, and I don't blame him. I, I wouldn't sell this guy for less than £50 million, if I'm honest. I think even with one year on his contract, this guy improves Arsenal so much. Such a good player. He's one of the best players I've seen at Manchester City. Very underrated. Flew under the radar a lot. And a lot of love has been shown now in the last season. He scored big goals, big games. He's such a good player and I'm going to miss him so much. £30 million is just so disrespectful. I honestly would have just closed down talks with Arsenal straight up, honestly. But we don't want to lose this guy on free, so we're going to have to play the game. Arsenal are going to have to pay minimum £40 million. But if they want to get the price around that straight up, they're probably going to have to pay a little bit of add-ons as well, I think. So hopefully we can get a good fee around £45, £50 million for Gabby Jesus and we can leave him off and get on to his next part of the journey where he's going to get regular game time. Well, that was just a quick wrap-up of all the transfer news and all the loan deals and transfers that might be happening. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button as I said before, bell notification. Also, join the Facebook group. Facebook group is Man City Global Fan Group. I'll put it here again if you missed it. 
and the link will be in the description anyway anyways i'll see you in the next one peace